Hello everyone. Our today's topic in the lecture series of the chapter Statistical Thermodynamics is the Boltzmann Distribution Law and Partition Function. The Boltzmann Distribution Law is also known as the Maxwell Boltzmann Distribution Law. First of all, instead of uh, deriving this law, we have to just mention the law first. What about this? Later we shall derive this. So in order to do that, we have to start from the same type of particle distribution as we did in the previous examples where we had to distribute four number of particles in five energy levels from the ground state to the fourth excited state and where the total energy was limited to be 4 epsilon. But here it's a generalized case where the inner particles would be distributed in different energy levels and these energy levels uh, may be two types of energy levels. One is non-degenerate, another is degenerate energy levels. Non-degenerate energy levels means each energy level is a single energy level. There is no further uh, division into subshells. Whereas in case of degenerate energy levels, they are degenerate. That means they have they are split into further subshells. Such as uh, if you um, consider about the um, orbit of an electron. So S orbit and P orbit, but this is suppose 2S and 2P. So the principal quantum number is 2, but the azimuthal quantum number is 0 and 1. So the degeneracy is 2. Similarly, for the third N equals to 3, it is its degeneracy is 3. So these are the subshells. So this type of subshells, if exists, uh, then it's called degeneracy exists and the cells are degenerate. So in both cases, we have the expression of the Boltzmann distribution law or the uh, Maxwell Boltzmann distribution law. This is also known as the classical distribution because this uh, this uh, statistics is applicable for the classical particles. There are three types of statistics. By the way, uh, I would like to uh, inform you that uh, the Bose-Einstein statistics and the particles which follow these statistics are bosons. Then the Fermi-Dirac statistics, the particles which follow this are known as fermions, whereas these particles are known as the classical particles or Boltzmann particles. So the energy levels are the ground state where the energy is zero. Okay, if it's split into G number of subshells, then its degeneracy is G zero. The first excited state where the number of particles existing are n1 and each particle has energy epsilon the same thing also happening here where the degeneracy is g1 so this way in the ith excited state the number of particles are ni in both cases where the overall energy is n epsilon and the name of the energy level is epsilon i okay then what should be the value of n with respect to uh, epsilon i. The value of n should be n by f e to the power minus epsilon i by kt for non-degenerate case and if degeneracy exists then the equation becomes ni equals to n by f gi exponential minus epsilon i by kt. The degenerate, uh, equ this equation in case of degenerate cases can be converted into this equation. If there is no degeneracy, then the value of gi is 1. And in that case, it simply reduces to this equation. gi, this factor would vanish for being 1 here. Now, one thing we are mentioning here, which is f. And this is very important thing. This is the main uh, unit of this chapter. Suppose you are studying uh, mm, you are studying suppose the discretion uh, excretion excretory system of human body then nephron is the main unit okay okay you are studying the nerve chapter of life science the neuron is the main thing suppose you are studying crystallography then unit cell is the main thing similarly in this chapter the main thing is f so everything would be uh, uh, just related to f and f is that parameter which would link 
between classical thermodynamics with quantum mechanics and this is known as the partition function and this has the expression mathematical expression for non-degenerate case sum over i exponential minus epsilon i by kt and for degeneracy if there is degeneracy then gi would accompany there okay like this and in these expressions uh, this exponential part is also known as the Boltzmann factor and degeneracy gi is also known as the statistical weight factor while 1 by kt which is also written as beta at the time of derivation of this law which we have to deal with this term beta okay this is known as the Boltzmann factor uh, which is the dimension of uh, energy inverse because k has energy by temperature and when this is multiplied with temperature then tens temperature parts would be cancelled and the energy term would remain in the in the reciprocal form so it would be simply energy inverse and this beta has also a huge significance because I have said there are three types of particles in the classical particle in the equation beta would simply remain as beta but in case of bosons and fermions there would be some plus beta plus one and beta minus one in the uh, statistics or the statistical equations for the bosons and fermions what is the dimension and unit of f that is the partition function so if we try to calculate or try to find out the dimension then it will be found that it is dimensionless how because this equation this mathematical expression is accompanying gi and some exponential part so gi is simply a number this is the number of subshells in a particular energy level so this is a number this is dimensionless and this is exponential part this should be dimensionless and its power is also dimensionless because in the numerator you have energy term in the denominator you also have energy term how now energy by temperature into temperature that means also this energy term then energy by energy is dimensionless so overall this is dimensionless so just in order to take the note about this just take the screenshot or pause the video and take the note from here it is derived here okay next what about the physical significance of partition function f if this question is asked then the final answer would be that the partition function f is the measure of the number of energy levels available for a particular system at any temperature so uh, you may also be asked this question in the form that show that partition function f is the measure of number of energy levels available for a particular system at any temperature that means finally it will be found that f is simply a number and this number is simply i move on to the previous slides again here look at this picture suppose you have five excited states here okay one two three four five and along with the ground state you have six energy levels so the value of f should be six here suppose all the energy levels are uh, triple fold that means they have uh, they, they, they are split into three subshells okay then 3 into 5 overall energy level number is 15 here I'm sorry there are six energy levels ground state first excited state second third fourth and fifth suppose I is 5 here so overall 5 plus 1 6 energy levels so 6 into 3 18 number of available energy states are here so the value of f should be 18 here that means f is the measure of the available energy states at any temperature it will be found okay so let's move on to uh, that part where we are determining or trying to find out the physical significance of partition function f and here is the slide so we have to begin with the mathematical expression of f and this expression is this one we are taking the no, uh, degenerate uh, 
system degenerate system that means uh, we are accompanying g here if it's non degenerate then j is 1 then simply you will get the equation for the system which is non degenerate okay so we are taking into consideration the equation from the system which has degeneracy okay so first of all uh, we have to distribute the particles from the temperature range absolute zero to infinity so in order to do that we have to find out its value at the vicinity of absolute zero that is at t tends to zero and at infinite temperature that is at t tends to infinity at t tends to zero that means if the particle if the system is at absolute zero then what is what would happen all the particles would come down to the ground state isn't it and in that case the mathematical what about the mathematical form of f the mathematical form of f should be the limiting value of f at t tends to zero if we put the value of f then this value have to be written here okay so gi should be g0 and epsilon i should be epsilon 0 and no more higher energy state terms would be written because all the particles have come down to the ground state and no particle is present in any excited state maybe it's the first excited state maybe it is the ith excited state so only one term will be written here just in place of g i we have to write g 0 and in place of epsilon i we have to write epsilon 0 but what is the value of epsilon 0 since it is the ground state so its energy is 0 so the value of epsilon 0 is 0 so let's find out since all the molecules or particles comes down to the ground level then epsilon 0 equals epsilon i equals to epsilon 0 and g i equals to g 0 at t tends to 0 so the limiting value of f at t tends to 0 should be the limiting value of g 0 exponential minus exp a epsilon 0 by k t at t tends to 0 should be actually g 0 exponential 0 by k t so exponential 0 means 1 that means the overall thing becomes 0 uh, I'm sorry g 0 so the finally we have got the limiting value of f at t tends to 0 as g 0 this is equation number 1 now we have to move on to infinite temperature let's see what happens at t tends to infinity all the energy levels are populated okay therefore partition function can be expressed as that means we have to expand this series now we have to write g0 gi g1 uh, up to gi even if there is more energy levels then uh, beyond gi or beyond the ith level we can write any more energy level okay in case of the ground state gi is g0 and epsilon i is epsilon 0 in case of the first excited state g i is g 1 and epsilon i is epsilon 1 and so on so this is the expression of the limiting value of f at t tends to infinity now let us find out these values separately just the exponential values at t tends to infinity if t tends to infinity then the exponential value of the ground state should be 1 why because t is infinity so some parameter divided by infinity is actually undefined or it may be equivalent to 0 that means the exponential the power of exponential is 0 that means this is 1 and when it is multiplied with g then it becomes g if it is g 0 then it is g 0 so for all the cases it they will represent they will be reduced to their respective g values if it is g0 then it becomes g0 if it is the first excited state it becomes g1 and if it is ith excited state then it becomes gi 
Is it clear? I repeat here. Just put infinity here, then you will get the value, exponential value 1. When it is multiplied with g0, then g0 into 1 equals to g0. For the first excited state also, you have to put infinity. So again, zero, again 1. If it is multiplied with g1, then the overall thing becomes g1. And similarly, the final value of f at t tends to infinity becomes g0 plus g1 plus g2 plus dot 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 gi etc and this way you will get equation number 2 so what you have obtained finally so let us draw the conclusion from equation 1 we may conclude that at t tends to 0 f expresses the number of energy levels that means the degeneracy in the ground level isn't it because if there is no degeneracy then it is 1 and if there is some degeneracy then it is g0 and equation 1 is expressing the same thing now what about equation 2 from equation 2 the same is obtained that means you are getting the summation of the degeneracy of all the available energy states isn't it so you can conclude that at any temperature may it be absolute zero or infinity what happens now f always expresses the number of available energy levels this is the significance of f and its minimum value is g0 and maximum value is what maximum value is g0 plus g1 plus g2 plus dot dot, dot gi that means sum over i where i equals to 0 to infinity of gi so this is the physical significance of partisan function. So that's all for today. Thank you. Have a nice day.